Hi everyone, Adam Steele from Hot Pole Studios here. And today's another short video talking about a change in uh, drum tone. Uh, we're talking about how much you should dampen a kick drum specifically for rock and metal. So a while back I started learning how to tune a kick drum quite kind of low and clicky and punchy. And I've always had a single pillow inside a kick drum just touching both ends. So that it takes some of the ring away but leaves a lot of the click and punch. Now since I started tuning this new way where the batter head is quite loose and the resonant head takes most of the weight of the tone. I'm starting to find that in the mix especially, there's almost not enough ring on the kick drum, uh, apart from the super, super low frequencies. So here's how the drum sounds with a pillow inside. And I've mixed that a little bit, a little bit of compression, a little bit of EQ, uh, but it does sound a little bit kind of dead now to me. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out the pillow entirely and then see how it sounds with kind of a compromise, which is some really thin kind of blanket touching both sides, which is much less coverage than an entire pillow. That's an influence that I saw Mike Portnoy from Dream Theater doing quite a few years back. And it stuck with me for some reason. I thought, hey, I should do that. Although he did it with bath towels. I'm going to do it with a blanket. We'll see if that's exactly perfect for what we need. So here comes GoPro cam because we're going to have to uh, change the view so you can see what's going on. At the moment, I've got an Audix D6 in the kick port, which I'm going to have to take out for a minute. And inside, we're going to have to remove the Audix, not Audix, the Shore SM91 and you can see the pillow there that's touching the head and it's also touching the resonant head. Uh, so let's take this kick mic out of there just for a minute and let's see what happens. Let's see if I can actually take the pillow out through this hole. Okay so that's the pillow out of there so now we're gonna have to put the uh, Sure, Beta 91 in there, which is actually going to change the positioning of that mic just a little bit. It's going to change it so it's further down. That may affect the tone as well, so that does make the comparison a little more difficult. And I've swung the D6 back in. Tuning is as it was before. Let's see how this sounds. Now the pillow is out with much less dampening. You can hear a lot of those harmonics ringing out now. Let's see how that sounds in a mix. Very different. May need more EQ work, but now for the PS de l'existence, which is getting this blanket, which is considerably less weighty than the pillow, and having it lightly touch both sides and kind of fill the middle just to take out some harmonics, but not be nearly as much of a dampening effect as that pillow, and see if that is the perfect medium. So let's swing out the D6 again. Take out our shoe up. Loosen that off. Right, so I wanted this to be nice and neat, but I've now unfurled it like an idiot. There we go. That should be just about the right dimensions, I think. Okay, so I've got it in there. You can see it's a lot darker in there now. So we've got the uh, shore. Uh, so the uh, blanket is touching 
but it's not all the way up onto the skin like the pillow was. And it's the same on this side, it comes up to about here. Hopefully that makes all the difference. So there's some dampening, but not crazy amounts. On we go. All right, let's see how this sounds with the pillow dampening. I think that might have it. So let's do a little drum test. I hope that sounds better on recording than it does in the room, but in context, uh, I think it feels the best out of the three. So now, uh, I'm going to play you back, no dampening, this much dampening, whole pillow dampening in a row, just the kick drum mics, then the entire performance, then just for giggles, I'll do it again, just the room mics, so you can actually hear how the kick drum sounds different in the room. For rock and metal, that tends to be largely unimportant because it's all about the overall sound, but if you're curious, it's there for you, so check these out. And that's the end of this one. Uh, next video is going to be me swapping out this snare, which is a wooden snare, for a metal snare that's exactly the same depth dimensions. I'm even going to use the same heads and everything on it because this uh, snare drum's from the same make. They're both Pearl from the same series. So I'm going to try and do an apples to apples comparison of wood versus metal snare. Uh, stick around for that. And then we've got the actual performance of uh, Tornado of Souls by Megadeth between me and Jeremy from Donkeys and Demos. So hopefully that'll be an interesting one for you. See you very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this, feel free to check out our other videos, as you can find here, or check out our Facebook and Twitter, or our Patreon page, which helps us to make more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.